Hi, my name is Gregory Janicki. I am a guest artist from the Bentonville area. I've been making artwork since I was, oh, about six years old. I usually use acrylic paint. It's bright, fun, colorful, dynamic, and it can be very quiet and subtle too. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own artwork based upon the terrific art of Ramir Bearden using the materials in your kit. Get ready and go. Step one, think about your favorite song or type of music and listen to it or imagine it while you work on your art. As you listen to or imagine the music, use a pencil and a sheet of white paper to create a list of words that describe how the music sounds or how the music makes you feel. Step two, choose a word from your list and think about what colors, shapes, lines, and patterns you can create to represent your word. Draw them next to your word. For example, if the music you chose is slow and peaceful, what colors, shapes, and lines or symbols could you use to show that? What if the music has a fast and exciting rhythm? Try to find visual ways to show all the words. Step three, squeeze a small amount of silver or copper paint, or both if you choose to, about the size of a penny onto your paint palette. Use your paintbrush to paint five horizontal lines across the black construction paper. Add more paint to your palette as needed. Set your paper aside to dry. Don't forget that. Step four, Choose your favorite shapes from your word list and draw them on various colors of neon paper. You can also cut shapes from a sheet of white paper and color them with colored pencils. Make sure your shapes are not too small to cut out or too big to fit on the black construction paper. Cut out between 10 to 20 shapes, depending on the size shapes you drew, and set them aside. Step 5. Once the paint is dry, lay out your shapes along different lines to plan your visual rhythm. For example, if your song or music is fast, place your shapes closer together, and if the rhythm is slow, place them farther apart. Once you have placed your shapes, use the glue stick to attach them. Step 6. Use the colored pencils, black marker, paint, or neon paper to add details on your shapes to make them look like different instruments, musicians, or musical notes from your song. What else can you add? Step 7. Now, look back at your list. Use the paint or colored pencils to add lines and symbols from your word list to your design. Your lines can connect shapes or colors together, or they can bounce all around your artwork. Step 8. Finally, decide on a name for your artwork. Sign your artist name and give it to someone special to make a positive difference in their day. When you're done with your fantastic art project, make sure to clean up your space and put your leftover material back into your My Museum kit. Good idea. I hope you had fun and, you know, thanks so much for being with me today. I really appreciate it. With an adult's permission, take a photo or video of your finished masterpiece and post it on social media with the hashtag MyMuseumKit. Until next time, enjoy creating.